I'm going to show you a key move with the driver, which is going to help you hit it further. And it often helps you hit more up on the ball, which gives you another few extra yards as well. Now, if I asked you, what should your weight or your pressure do through the golf swing? Many golfers would say it would start pretty balanced and it would go trail foot and it would go lead foot. And I would say that would be pretty accurate for an iron. But this is a driver. All bets are off, things change, things are different. What we often see with the longest hitters of the golf ball is when we look at pressure, and I'll explain why this is the case in a moment, we see the pressure going trail leg early, lead leg early, trail leg, lead leg. Okay, and that sounds quite complicated, back, forward, back, forward, but there's a reason why that happens. It's all to do with width of stance and something that's called center of mass. And this is really a key point that we discussed before I go through the drill that's gonna help you. You have a center of mass, that's the middle of you. Let's say it's around about here, just below my belly button. If I have my feet together, you can see how the center of my mass is pretty much over both feet. So if I was to have all my weight on my left foot, you can see I'm sort of picking this foot up here. If I was to push down through the ground, where would it push me? Well, if I sort of show you, it's going from my foot through the center of mass, it would push me upwards. If I pushed hard enough, I would jump directly upwards. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's now take a wide stance like this. I know you're not gonna play golf that way, but it's gonna highlight what we're doing. Center of mass is here, still just above my belly button, sorry, below my belly button. Now my lead foot is here. So let's draw a line from the lead foot through my center of mass. So if I was to push through that foot now, where would it push me? Well, it wouldn't push me straight up. It would push me back like this because it's following this line of force through the ground, center of mass, it's pushing me this way. So with a driver, what do we have versus an iron? Wider stance, that's good. So if I take a setup, I want this wider stance. What does that do to my center of mass? It puts it more behind my lead foot. So what we're gonna see with the great golfers, early shift into that trail leg, that's really key. They shift early into that lead leg, but when they start to push back, where does it push them? Back this way. Have a look at some of the best drivers of the golf ball. You will see the head through impact actually going slightly backwards. That's not because they're trying to, it's the result of them having this wide stance, creating this situation that we've discussed and then pushing which pushes their head back and forces more pressure onto that back foot. It also, as you can imagine, as that head is moving back, moves the low point further back, which is one component which helps them hit more up on the golf ball, will help you hit more up on the golf ball. Now, I know that sounds quite complicated. Here's how you can feel it. Try this little drill and then go ahead and hit some shots. You're gonna take a setup just inside a ball, nice wide stance, 50-50, and you're gonna start with a club, you know, around about a foot in front. And I want you to feel like before the club reaches level the ground, you're already feeling more pressure into this trail leg. Into that trail leg, into that trail leg, into that trail leg. A tiny bit of lateral movement of the hips is fine at this point. Then you've got to get back into your lead side really early. And then this is the key component to all of this. You're going to push yourself up and back off that lead leg. So start here. Pressure, pressure, and you can see what I did. I push myself, pressure, pressure, back onto that back leg. I'm effectively pushing off this lead foot. That's what great players do. If we could measure how much weight is under their lead foot impact, it's often zero because they have push themselves off it. Now I'm gonna hit a shot doing that. It might not be the best shot I've ever hit, but it's gonna give you a little idea of what it's going to look like as an exercise. So we go here, we go build early, we go build early, and then we push. And I actually might play golf that way. That wasn't anywhere near full speed, but I'll tell you what, it was a nice little draw. It had a nice height to it. I definitely hit up on it and I created all those feelings. If I could then scale that up in terms of speed and force and power, what you'll find is that you'll have more clubbed speed, your attack angle will be more up, and you'll be hitting the ball further. 